Thank you so much to Andrea for this challenge. So now we're looking at uh, some underperforming aspects. Is it the students? Is it the teacher? teachers at the prep school. So we've got information about the students here. So we get just information about their names, their gender, what class they're in. Um, and then also in this input, we have their results. So in English, economics and psychology. So we're going to first we'll bring this information together. So we're going to use a join step, just using the student ID equal to the student ID. The important thing to look out for here is that we have 50 students in our first input, 50 in our second input, and in our join result we get 50 students coming out. So we know that we're not duplicating anything, so that's good. Now we want to work out the some averages. So we want to group each class that we have, and we want to get their average score for those classes. So kind of get rid of um, each individual student and just average those scores up and have a look at them. Next up, we want to reshape our data a bit. So we have one field for class, one field for economics, and um, sorry, one field for class, one field for subject, and one field for the average grade. So we're going to do a pivot there. So just pivoting those subjects, economics, English, and psychology, leaving the class there. So we have the subject, the grade, and the class. So we just rename those fields uh, to be subject and grade. And then we just want to find out the worst performing uh, group for each of those uh, subjects. So let's go and find the worst performing class for each of those subjects. So to do that we need to do a ranking. So if we're ranking then we're ranking on um, the grade here that we have. So we go to our menu here, we go to create a calculator field, we go to rank and in that rank we want to make sure that we are um, <laughs> See, I'm doing this at the end rather than at the start, so let me open it up when we actually do that. So we're making sure that we're grouping by the subject so that we can find the worst um, the worst class for each subject. Okay, so uh, we perform that ranking and then we basically just want to filter so we keep only the worst and the worst in this instance is six. So that has the lowest grades, the lowest average grades. And when we do that, so we keep only those values and we are left with three rows in our data set and we see that classes 9A and 9B have actually the worst grades. So we also have a part two coming for this challenge where we're going to have a look at the teachers. So uh, come back next week for that challenge. Thanks very much for watching.